today, Harley. What do you reckon is a healthy body fat percentage for a teenager? More curious than anything to hear your opinion, considering you're so healthy and have extremely low body fat percent all year round. Now, <laughs> when you're lean, you get all sorts of tendons and sinews you never knew existed. Your whole you just get more wrinkles, you can just see all indentations, your abs and your shoulders and everything gets all ripped, your feet, your quads, your calves, you start to see all these things coming out, veins and sinew and tendon, you basically become like an anatomy chart walking around, the older you get generally, the lower your body fat goes down, but body fat percent as a figure is very, it can be very subjective as I'm learning all the time now today, watch the video from Ted, car excellent video where he 18.9 percent so let's say 20 percent body fat measured by a dexa scan now this this is here's a picture of ted very lean very young very fit very agile triathlete very fit good swimmer good runner good cyclist eating very clean diet fruitarian vegan lifestyle but people say 20 percent body fat how does that work well if ted's 20 percent body fat then guys and Tour de France riders are going to be the same as well, based on the DEXA scan test results. Now, DEXA scan, for those who don't know, is a radiation scan where they just radiate your whole body and you come up with a, a bone percentage and a lean tissue percentage and a fat percentage. It doesn't really take into account hydration and stuff like that, or colon weight and stuff like that. So, what you could do to drop body fat percent in literally 12 hours would be to go wake up and just smash in heaps of food actually start of a week just pound the food in pound in the water and add lots of salt as well just eat until you're like you know just salt's the main one it helps you build that water tension up go in for your DEXA scan and it's going to be lower than last week people say what you weigh more but your body fat percentage goes less than what last week let's say UFC fighter is a good example a UFC fighter often is 20 to 30 pounds less than their fighting weight at weigh-in. Let's say they're fighting on the Saturday or Sunday, they weigh in at normally Friday night or whatever, and let's say they're 150 pounds, they'll generally fight a few days later at 180 pounds. But if you test the body fat percentage of the UFC fighter on the Friday night, it's going to be a lot higher than on Sunday. People, people go, Harley, I don't understand, how can you gain weight but lose, how can you gain 30 pounds in 24 hours, but lose body fat percentages? Think about it. It's a mathematical equation, yeah? So you can put all that salt and fluid in your body and look at all, and all your cuts will go away because your hydration goes up and so you're not as cut as you were on the Friday when you did the weigh-in. When your body fat is actually higher percentage-wise, okay, your body, your body fat in terms of total grams might not change in that 24 hour period, but your percentage will. That's why it can be very misleading if people focus on percentages, because there's so many variables there, all right? What we want to focus on for the healthy teenager is being, eating a healthy diet, priority. Having healthy thoughts, people go, this is boring, Harley. Healthy lifestyle, early nights, focusing on fitness, drug-free fitness, caffeine-free fitness. If you need caffeine to train, if you need caffeine to get for the day, you're not healthy, man. You're doing it wrong. You're fucking up your adrenal glands. Get off the caffeine. You don't need caffeine to get through the day. You don't need caffeine to train, all right? If you're going to have caffeine, have it a few times a year maximum. But if you're a teenager, really, you want to get off at 100%. Your body's still growing, man. You want to respect your health. I see all the time, especially in cycling, a lot of kids just smashing the coffee, smashing the coffee. And it burns them out, man. They have like big black circles under their eyes and shit. And just, it's like, man, you're a teenager. <laughs> get off that shit. Be natural, man. So... Drugs are fucked up. I've done a lot of drugs. I used to sell drugs. Drugs are fucked. Take it from my experience, man. I'm 36 soon. Take it from my experience. Fuck drugs. Drugs are shit. Anyone tell each otherwise, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, you get some short-term gains at long-term expense. Enjoy life naturally. All I can say. So body fat percentage can be very misleading. I'd say don't focus on body fat percentage because if you focus on body fat percentage, you can drive yourself insane. I see it all the time. I might say, yeah, I'm 40% body fat, you know, look at these sinews and shit. That's more just trolling, man. It doesn't really matter what your body fat percentage is. What matters more is how you feel. What matters more is how to contribute to your society. What matters more is you're a good person. 
He said, that's boring, Harley. I want to get lean. I want to get jacked. I want to get ripped. I want to have fucking styrations in my neck and my fucking foot muscles, my metal tarsal ligaments. I want to have styrations there. Okay, fair enough, but eat healthy. It'll come to you. But avoid getting caught up in body fat percentages. If you want to focus on digits, focus on watts per kilogram. Get a power meter. Focus on your mile time. All right? Drug-free, caffeine-free, natural. Focus on stuff like that. And don't get attached to trying controlling it. Like, you know, like people, they're like, it's got to be like this every day. And if it's not, fucking no. Oh. <laughs> Just relax. Have goals, right? And allow for natural variation. Don't always try to be flatlined. A flatliner is when you die in life. You never have want to cons- have that flatline consistency. Allow variation, right? Like a dolphin swimming, the tail's flapping. A happy dog. You want to have a happy stats, all right? You don't want to be flatlining, all right? You go crazy if you try and control every minute of fucking information and what happens in your life and then analyze the paralysis. I've got to have like, you know, 6.18 watts per kilo every day of the year. No, no, no. Allow for variations. Have goals. Write goals down. Realistic goals. Goals with purpose. Live with purpose. Don't worry about your body power percentage. Focus on your health, and your body will naturally come down to a slimmer physique. Don't worry too much, man, because I'll tell you what. I know models and athletes, I know people on EPO, steroids and shit. I know people end up in mental institutions, literally, because they're focusing too much on aesthetics. They're focusing too much on the outside versus the inside. That's what you want to focus on, being a good, cool, cool person, contributing to your society yourself. That's what I really want to focus on. That's how I judge my success. My success isn't based on my you know, 4% body fat or whatever troll comment I use or whatever. My success is based on how I help other people. That's how I base my success. So that's what I recommend people do. So body fat percentage, don't worry about it. Eat healthy, live healthy. Your body will take care of the rest. And people are going to go, I don't like this video, Harley. I want, I want, you know, I want like, Bullshit. Okay, go and watch someone else's channel. They'll sell you lots of bullshit. We don't sell bullshit here. We just tell the truth. Take it or leave it. Thanks for watching. Post your comments and questions down below. What's the next video going to be on? Peace. Look after yourself.